whose apparent business scam was first exposed by the CBS2 investigators was charged today with consumer fraud. And as Pam Zekman reports, she allegedly collected thousands of dollars to help aspiring businesses and charities get all kinds of government licensing and other approvals, then failed to do the work. Everyone that she has uh, done wrong to were people that's just like me, that's trying to make a difference. Donna Davis paid Althea Taylor $3,800 to help her church set up a charitable program called Ring of Hope. Teaching children how to defend themselves without using guns. But all Davis got was the state incorporation paperwork. Davis also claims Taylor could help secure a $200,000 grant. Did she get you the money you needed? No, she ripped us off. The Cook County State's Attorney's Office agrees, charging Taylor today with consumer fraud in five cases. These services were simply not being rendered by her and her company, and it did create a hardship for not-for-profit organizations and individuals. I want her to get justice. I want her to appear before a judge and be accountable for her actions. That's what I want. We could not reach Althea Taylor today, but I confronted her about similar allegations in 2012. There's nothing that I've done that's wrong. She claimed, We've helped 2,000 clients in 43 states. I'd like to see the documentation on that. Well, people like to see the color of my they don't have a good day. The state's attorney's office is seeking refunds for the former clients and a court order requiring Taylor to stop using the deceptive practices alleged in this case. And Robin Erica, they're also asking for anybody that's had a similar problem with her or her company, Taylor Made Industries, to call the Consumer Fraud Office. Wow. So years pursuing this and finally some results coming in, Pam. That's right. All Hopefully right. some help for these people. All right, thanks.